Hey everyone, I'm here with the winner of the 2016 Mercuria World Finals Open Division, RL Chartier. He rode a little bossy. Congratulations to you, RL. Thank you. Now, you came in with about uh, almost $5,000 lead, but it was fairly competitive throughout the year, wasn't it? Tell us about it. Yeah, we were pretty close uh, the whole way through. A- actually, when we went to Vegas, I was uh, 30000 behind, um, and that's kind of where I decided to uh, to make a run at the, at the world title. Um, we got closer uh, as the year went on. Um, I'd get within about four or 5000 then I'd get back about 10000 and then we'd gain a little more and then lose a little bit. And then, uh, I think it was finally there in uh, Batesville, the last – one of the last eight days there in Batesville, Mississippi, at Lee's place, um, we uh, we took over the lead. So, what was it at that point when you were thirty thousand behind that you thought, yeah, it's it, there's a bit to make up, but I really think I've got a shot at this. Well, yeah, yeah, I thought I had a shot at it, um, just for one, because I thought my horse was, you know, he's a special horse, and I thought uh, if I go enough and, and go to the right shows uh, and stay steady. Um, that I could, I could make a run at it. So, what is it that's special about your horse? Oh, he's well. For one, he's stayed good for so long. Um, I don't know. This is our maybe fourth year out of the aged events, and uh, I mean he's he's good now as he was the the first day we tried the weekend stuff. Um, he's just got a lot of spunk, a lot of grit, uh, and he wants to do his job. That's that's probably the the main deal. So then, what was the plan with the four go rounds of the finals? Oh, the plan going in was was just to just to be solid, get a check. Yeah, uh, you know the Holland deal is you know winning winning a couple and and, and bombing out. It's not really good. It's being consistent throughout the year, and and that was our 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 goal going into the World Finals is just to just to be consistent and you know stay in that average and and give ourselves a shot at the end. And tell us about your runs. Um, well, the first night, uh, I drew up early every, every night pretty much. Uh, first night, I think I was either second or third uh, out. And, you know, you don't have a very good feel for the cattle. Um, so we just, I might have cut a few softer cows than I really wanted to. Um, but it was just a, a nice solid run, marked a 22, and we ended up, I think it was split sixth. Uh, so we, we, we got a check, and, and that was good for the first night. And you ended up widening your lead by the time you'd won it. Yeah, the the second night uh, I was either second or third. I don't know which one of them swip swapped, um, but that night I was you know a little more confident in the cows and and uh, maybe maybe looked for something that would would try me a little more, and it worked out. Marked a twenty four, uh, tied the round with Cullen actually that night, and and that opened the gap uh, pretty good that that night. Now, interestingly, uh, you made history because you had two other members of your family also make the finals, your father, Randy, and your brother, Cullen. What did that mean to you? Well, I mean, it was awesome. Uh, it's never been done before. Um, and, and to be there with, with them, uh, it was pretty special. It was, it was a pretty special deal. Um, you know, we, <laughs> we were all three pretty competitive um, and we, we don't like to lose, and but we're we're gonna help each each other the same no matter what happens. Um, but it was it was just a cool deal. And what does this win mean to you? Oh, it's it's been a, a lifetime goal of mine. Um, obviously, one of my goals was to win a, a world championship, and and the other would be to to win the NCHA fraternity one day. Um, those were our two of my top goals. Um, so it's yeah, it's it's awesome. And the crowd, um, there's a pretty good atmosphere in, in the what there. Yeah, they get uh, it gets pretty. You know, actually, this year was a little different than pri- previous years, um, but it, yeah, it's a different atmosphere. And uh, but it's it's all good. You know, sometimes you can't hear your your corner help uh, on you know picking cows and stuff. But uh, but if you do your job, and it, it's it's a cool atmosphere, I think. So you're going to focus back on the aged events now? Yeah, yeah. You probably won't see me in. Uh, uh, Pierce, South Dakota, or Batesville, Mississippi next year, I'd imagine. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm going to go back to focusing more on the age events uh, and do a little weekend stuff, but nothing nothing to, to that level. Well, thank you for joining us. Congratulations again. Thank you.